Uh, Minister, every week we're now hearing the disheart disheartening news uh, of local long-established businesses closing their doors for good. This loss is a blow not just to our economy, but to the fabric of our communities, both urban and rural areas. Our businesses are the lifeblood of local communities and the heart of these communities. The government, it seems, has yet to grasp the full extent of the crisis that presently engulfs the hospitality sector and, by extension, the wider small business community. The recent wage increases, along with the hike uh, in VAT on food from 9% to 13.5%, coupled with the new mandate on sick leave, is compounding increasing operational costs, especially energy costs, which have more than doubled uh, since COVID. The cost of living crisis has reduced footfall as consumers, faced with rising prices, cut back on spending. Staff shortages are becoming more acute, with fewer people viewing the hospitality sector as a viable career path. As a result, the very fabric of our communities, woven through our cafes, our restaurants and pubs, are under threat. The proposals that we are presenting here today are a set of measures aimed at providing immediate relief and a sustainable path forward for our local businesses. Firstly, we are calling for the reduction by one third in the VAT rate for those selling food within the hospitality sector, our cafes and our restaurants. And secondly, the reinstatement of the lower employer's PRSI rate for those on the minimum wage. And we need to see those measures enacted before Easter. This interim measure is crucial to keep the doors open of our struggling enterprises. This is not a financial reprieve, or as some suggest, delaying the inevitable. This is a statement of support acknowledging the invaluable role our businesses play in the economy and in the social fabric of our communities. More fundamentally, Minister, we are calling for the establishment of a task force with teeth, akin to the successful mobile phone and broadband task force of the past, which was acknowledged by both the state and private sector in helping to facilitate the rapid rollout of telecommunications infrastructure across the country. This new task force would not merely serve as a discussion forum, but act as a proactive body with the authority to tackle government red tape and the escalating costs imposed on small business. Chaired personally by a cabinet minister, it would ensure that small business concerns are not just heard, but they're acted upon with quarterly progress reports presented to the Joint Oireachtas Committee on Enterprise. This task force would examine every government-controlled cost impacting on small business, from licensing fees to regulatory charges, and work towards reducing these burdens. Its role would be to cut through the bureaucracy that often stifles innovation and growth, ensuring that small businesses have the support needed not just to survive, but to thrive. The situation, Minister, is dire and the time for action is now. The government's recent dismissal of the need to adjust the VAT rates, despite government TDs and ministers calling for such actions, none of whom came into the House today, only adds to the urgency of our motion. To, so let's not divide the House Minister on this issue. Together we can influence change and ensure that our small businesses, the backbone of our local economies and communities, receive the support they so critically need. Let's stand united in our call for action, for the survival of our small businesses and for the future of our communities. I commend the motion to the House.